Good morning, um, club members and guests. As I started thinking about my speech and how I would kind of introduce myself and tell you a little bit about maybe who I am and what I've done, I started to think about my numerous jobs that I've had. And, and when I say numerous, I mean numerous, okay? More in the probably 35 years I've been working, because I started young, um, I've had 28 jobs. <laughs> I've had numerous jobs. And in fact, there were so many that I had to kind of group them in order to get it into the time limit because it kept going over. So um, I was, uh, I grew up on a farm in Iowa and um, it's actually a pig farm, if you can believe that, which isn't bad unless the wind's blowing the wrong way and then it's not as enjoyable as it might sound. And I had a father who was a master delegator. He could make a job that was meant for one person into a job that three, my sisters and I, could all do. And somehow we all contributed and we all had to feel like we were a part of this. So at a young age, we were sweeping barns, we were sweeping sheds, we were mowing the grass, we were sorting bolts into different types of drawers and however he could figure out to have us organize those. And I call it a job because he actually paid us. So. Um, I remember sitting down at about 10 years old and going to get $50 a month for sweeping and mowing and doing all that, which actually was seemed pretty good at the time. So um, I started out doing that. Once I could drive, I started to work at a donut shop in town, and I also worked at a pizza hut. Both of those jobs, the first one I had to be there very early in the morning on a Saturday and Sunday in high school at 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Then I decided it's better to work till 1 a.m. than it is to get up and went to the pizza hut in town. And um, the things that I kind of learned from these different jobs and a few other ones is just that a kind of a strong work ethic, a good face, um, and also that there are some sacrifices that you have to make along the way. Um, I went to the University of Iowa and again found myself working quite a few different places. I actually, in the four and a half years I was there, had eight jobs. Now, I want to tell you, I didn't get fired from any of them, so it's not that they were. <laughs> I was not doing a good job. I just, at many times, had a couple different jobs, anywhere from wrapping Christmas gifts at True Value to waitressing and bartending and at a hotel. And one of the most interesting jobs I had was actually driving the CAM bus. And based on, you can probably imagine what that is, I drove the city bus around campus picking up students. It was a pretty big campus, very spread out, and... It was a very interesting job, very flexible. I could work it in between my classes. I could get on, you know, after a class, drive my route. You know, it didn't matter what I looked like, what I did, get off and go back to class. So one of the best things, though, was that I could actually yell at people. And I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> but, in, you know, it's winter time, and you have a group of people that want to get on the bus, and there's everybody scooting in. And I could actually yell at people and say, Move to the back of the bus. We have four people left. We gotta get them on. <laughs> Everybody move back. Or sometimes people would sneak in the back door and I'd say, We're not leaving until you come and get on the front of the bus. <laughs> it was awesome. I could also <laughs> scare people. I don't know if you've ever been with a bus or a semi's kind of turning next to you and you think they're gonna hit you, but then they don't. So I found kind of enjoyment out of scaring those people <laughs> turning. I knew I wasn't gonna hit them, but they kind of thought I was. It was I don't know. I've passed that stage. So. <laughs> um, so one thing I learned ha after having these jobs and also being in class full time and um, doing sorority things and treasure of that and doing things is that I learned a lot about time management and money management and just kind of managing myself and feeling that I can do things. After college, um, I started doing uh, my first job, real job, I of course had a couple other ones, was working at Boys Town in Iowa or in Nebraska. And then I moved down to Kansas City and I started working for a company called CLO, which works with people with disabilities. And uh, my job was to find them jobs out in the community. So I, I figured I could do that. I knew how to find a job. And, um, and then I also, uh, after a little while, got into the teaching profession, taught in both public schools and am now teaching with people that are homeschooling. And then in the middle of all of this, I also was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years. And I have three wonderful daughters with three
three very different personalities that are, um, you know, um, practice. I've, I've been able to learn patience and um, a lot of um, some anger management there as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're now almost have a preteen and two teenagers, so I'm still learning, trust me, as we go along. But this kind of group of things just started this um, love of trying to understand people and appreciating people and their backgrounds and where they come from. And um, it's just, I feel like I've kind of started off with a strong work base. I kind of got to this middle section where I learned how to manage my time and my money and myself. And then I have a, a long period of time where I just love working with people and I love um, helping people and kind of finding the best in people. And I kind of hope to take these three sections and move into my next adventure, which is I just, um, over the last few months, have started selling real estate. And so I'm kind of hoping that helps that. And then I also hope to pass on to my daughters that um, there are jobs out there and you're going to be doing different jobs, but it's actually much, much more than that. It's just not, here's a job, there's a job, everywhere's a job. job. <laughs>